Guy's net income equals gross income minus his deductions. I'm going to write this as N equals G minus D. On January 1st, 1989, that was a long time ago. <laughs> that was when Bush Sr. was president and the Berlin Wall was still standing. But on January 1st, 1989, both his gross income and his deductions increased. By what percent did the net increase? Well, statement number one tells us that the gross increase in gross income increased by 4%. So the new gross income is the old gross income times 1.4, which is the multiplier for 4% increase. Well, that tells us how much the gross increases. That tells us nothing how much the deductions increase. So that by itself has to be insufficient. So now we ignore that piece of information, focus on the other piece of information. We find out that the deductions, the new deductions, that's a 15% increase over the old deductions. So the multiplier for that is 1.15. So this statement tells us how much the deductions change, but it tells us nothing about how much the gross income changed. So this one also by itself is insufficient. The real crux of this problem is what happens when we put these things together? We know that the old net income was the old gross minus the old deduction. The new net income should be 1.4G minus 1.15D. And the question is, can we figure out anything about this? Well, here I think it might be helpful to think about some numbers. Let's say that G, gross income, is $200,000, okay? Well, 1% of $200,000 is $2,000. 4% would therefore be $8,000. So the new gross income, his gross income would increase by $8,000. Now the deductions, we don't know how big the deductions are. The deductions could be 10,000. The deductions could be 100,000. We have no idea. The problem is, because we have no idea of the size, we have no idea how big 15% of that is going to be. And because we have no idea how big 15% is going to be, we have no idea how it's going to compare to this $8,000 increase. So in fact, even when we have both pieces of information, we do not have enough information to answer the question. And as a general rule, when you're adding and subtracting two things that change by a given percent, you don't have enough information to figure out either unless you know their numerical values. So we do not have sufficient information to answer anything here. The combined statements are insufficient and the answer choice is E.